to the Green Side channel. I'm your host, Natasha Collins, and on this channel, we offer grow tips, harvest advice, and a look into what it's like being a medical cannabis farmer here in Oklahoma. In this week's video, Joe's got a new toy, I mean tool to show you for the clone room. But before we go over and see that, I wanted to mention that our website is up and going and we have an online store. I've managed to become a dealer for these ARS scissors. They're my favorite, the bended ones or the curved angled blades. Uh, so if you guys need trimming scissors for the upcoming harvest, please consider going to our website, www.thegreenersidechannel.com. We've got a better price than Amazon on there, so please go check them out. Uh, but this week's video is awesome. Joe got a new LCD digital microscope. Let's go check out all the cool stuff he's doing with that. Hi everybody, it's Joe with The Greener Side. Thank you for watching and uh, today I wanted to show you guys something that we're using here on the farm now. Uh, first as part of our IPM strategy and next as part of a uh, determining uh, or a tool in determining maturation for us with the flower itself. Nice little LCD microscope you see here. So I'm going to show you guys some of the functions of this today, how we use it and why we like it. So first up, I'm going to show you guys how to use this device. Uh, as part of an IPM strategy. Here's something I used to use. It was a 60 uh, by or 60 times uh, eye loop. And basically I got uh, a little tired of uh, kind of straining the eyes, looking through that hours on end, um, and especially in, in any given week where you're examining a lot of plants, um, you can get quite fatigued. So I uh, switched over to this, and now I wanna show you guys kind of how we stay on the offense. We're looking for things before we even see damage on the plant, and that helps us in part of our IPM strategy. Okay, so first up, um, we're gonna go ahead and scan some of the leaves and some of the other parts of this uh, branch here. So now under the microscope, I have a lot of adjustment here. I'm gonna need to rotate this dial or this wheel down to help me focus. So what I'm seeing here is a nice clear image, crisp image of the backside or the underside of the leaf. And I'm simply gonna sort of move this around slowly and take a look at you know every portion of this leaf that I can. I'm looking for anything uh, that looks like a contaminant, um, anything that's moving, uh, anything that uh, looks just foreign uh, to the leaf itself. As you can see, there's a lot of detail to the back side of this leaf. Um, see a lot of fine hairs that stick up, but those are not of uh, concern. Those are part of the plant. So you can see here, this LCD screen is about four inches. We have the option to actually plug into another device uh, such as this laptop. Okay, so now what I've done is taken the USB connection cable I've unplugged from my standard uh, outlet here and I've gone into the laptop. I now have two options here where I can select mass storage or PC camera. I go down to PC camera, select OK, and now I'm in the photo booth app of this particular laptop. But this is a very nice feature as you can see now. Uh, I have a much uh, more expanded or larger image of the backside or underside of this leaf. To me, this only simplifies uh, the whole uh, procedure of finding pests and uh, staying on the offense again of your IPM. Okay, so now guys, I wanna segue into basically showing you guys how to determine maturation of your plants. Uh, we've selected a branch here, and this, this plant or this particular branch now is very, very immature. And we're gonna give you guys some images here on the screen of what we're looking for in determining maturation 
and uh, kind of how we, we would work with this particular device in order to help us determine that. Now what we're looking at here on the screen is an image of a bud that I've clipped from this particular branch. This image is showing us here each individual resin head and that is what we're going to focus on when we're trying to determine maturation of these buds. And what you're seeing here now is a mostly clear resin head throughout the entire image. And no matter where I scan on that particular bud, I'm going to see a very uh, uniform, uh, sort of clear resin head. Now I want to show you guys a bud that's more mature. Okay guys, so next I want to show you some mature bud. Uh, this strain here grown by Wilbur's, it's a Sonoma OG. So we're going to go ahead and pull some out and take a look at that under the microscope now. Show you guys what we're looking for in a mature bud. So now we're looking at an image of a mature bud. These resin heads here you can see have completely changed in tone or color. They are more of an amber or almost a sandy tan in color. And we're looking for some percentage of these that sort of change to that color. Um, or, in certain strains, we'll look for a more cloudy head rather than clear. So you're seeing a good percentage of either cloudy or tan or amber uh, resin heads here. Okay, you guys, so I hope this added some value to you. Um, I think uh, this is a very useful tool in anyone uh, dealing with any IPM uh, program or trying to determine maturation of your buds. I'd recommend this to any size grower. And uh, I grabbed mine on Amazon and uh, right around $60 delivered to my door. button. That way you can get a notification the next time we post a video. Joe and I think you guys can find a lot of value in this LCD digital microscope. Even if you're a small home grower or a slightly larger commercial grower, it really helps in identifying those pests early on and an opportunity to be more selective with your harvest date. So if you can grab one, it's really going to be useful in our garden, I think. One more shameless plug for our website. I've been working on that quite a bit lately. The store is up and going. We've got those scissors I talked about earlier. Um, we're carrying the earrings that I wear all the time and hopefully we're gonna have those shirts and hats and mugs to talk about in the coming weeks. Also, on Instagram, we've been doing some giveaways. We gave away a pair of these earrings. Uh, next week, we're gonna do a pair of the scissors and I hope to keep that up keep you guys engaged and bring value to the time that you spend consuming our content here on YouTube and on Instagram. Alrighty, it's time for me to get back out and help Joe, but you guys know I always like to say thank you and show how absolutely grateful we are for our sponsors, our subscribers, and all of our supporters who watch our channel. We really love having you guys with us as we journey on as medical cannabis farmers here in Oklahoma. So I'm gonna hop in the flower room and grab a lower branch of one of the strains in here so that you guys can see what the trichome heads look like when they're just starting to form.